Welcome to the Tierney Education YouTube page. My name is James Tierney, the owner and founder of Tierney Education. We are located here in State College, Pennsylvania, home of Penn State University, where we focus on tutoring and academic coaching. You can learn more about Tierney Education and everything we offer by visiting www.tierneyeducation.com. Today, we are going over how to calculate things like the unemployment rate, working age population, labor force participation rate when given some household data. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at question A. We'll do this in purple. We're looking for the unemployment rate December of 2004. So let's make sure we have December of 2004. Here are our data, which I will put in this purple box. So we're looking for the unemployment rate, which I will denote as a lowercase u. We know that is the total number of unemployed, which is capital U, over the labor force times 100. I will make sure I put a, a video so you can uh, check out the equations if you are unsure, as this is more of just a practice video. So let's look at the data that we have. Unemployment would be 8047, and we need to have this in the labor force. And we know the labor force is one, whoops, one, four, eight, two, zero, three. Multiply that by 100. We'll have to use a calculator. And when we do that, we get 5.43%. Let's change colors here to blue for part B. We're looking for the working age population in November of 2004. So again, let's make sure we're using the right equation. So part B, we're looking for that working age population. And remember, the working age population from the data that we're given is going to be everyone in the labor force plus everyone not in the labor force. By definition, in the U.S., right, our um, civilian labor force here and are not in the labor force is going to be our working age population, which is everybody over the age of 16. So all we need to do is add those two numbers up which would be 148313 plus, not in the labor force, 76109. We'll use that calculator again, and we will get 224,422. These numbers are in thousands, so we can add a few zeros after that, but we're just practicing the calculations right now. But make sure you know what your uh, instructor or tutor is looking for. Now let's finish up with part C, labor force participation rate in October of 2004. We'll do that one in green. The equation for the labor force participation rate is the labor force over the working age population times 100. Again, there will be a video linked in the description of this video that'll give you extra practice with these equations. Now you might think, oh, we already have labor force and working age population. But remember, those were different months. And again, please pay attention to all of the directions whenever you are taking a quiz or anything like that. So we need to look at the numbers that are inside this green box. The labor force is 147893. But if we want the working age population, we have to take that labor force, 147893, and then add those who are not in the labor force, which was 76. 299. We'll multiply that by 100 to get it into a rate. So overall, we'll have that 147893, and we'll divide it by, well, we're going to have to go to our calculator again, and we get 224192 times 100. And one more time into our calculator, we plug that in, and we get 65.97%. So there we have it. We uh, went through some very basic data and were able to calculate the unemployment rate, working age population, and labor force participation rate. Make sure you know these equations and others for whatever assessment you have coming up. Again, please visit tierneyeducation.com if you'd like to schedule a meeting with me. And feel free to subscribe, like, do all the things so that way we can spread more economics and education knowledge.